Back Americans are sick of paying high costs for health care, and Congress says it's working on a cure. Eyewitness News Washington correspondent Jesse Turnier reports on today's hearings on the Lower Health Care Costs Act, which targets nearly every area of the health care industry to try to save patients some money. When your car's totaled, you can't fix the windshield and expect to start driving. To repair the country's totaled health care system, lawmakers in Washington are prescribing nearly three dozen bipartisan bills to cut costs for families. Up to one half of what the American people spend on health care may be unnecessary. That's nearly two trillion dollars. Tennessee Senator Lamar Alexander, Washington Senator Patty Murray, and many of their colleagues on the Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions Committee heard feedback Tuesday on their legislation to expand competition, increase transparency, and end surprise billing. You can't lower your health care costs until you know what your health care costs actually are. Testimony came from those representing doctors, hospitals, and patients. They can all agree something needs to change, but don't necessarily agree on what. We think of the approaches that the committees talked about that arbitration is the best one. Adopting an in-network guarantee is the best option. Avoiding surprise medical bills took center stage. The proposed in-network guarantee would require in-network hospitals to ensure everyone working there is also in-network. Another part of the bill calls for benchmarking physician pay. But doctor and Louisiana Senator Bill Cassidy cautioned his colleagues about that idea. It's easier to get doctors in Florida than it is to get doctors in Alaska. Alaska, so therefore you must pay doctors in Alaska more. The conversation continues into next week before a debate on the Senate floor next month. In Washington, I'm Jesse Tenor.